everyone and welcome to Grace Chapel, where our vision is building lives for Christ and fulfilling destiny. We are so glad that you chose to join us today for our last Thanksgiving service of 2021. I am so grateful to God for keeping us from January till now. And so I want you to give God all of your praise and all of your thanks today. If you're new to Grace Chapel, we'd love to get in contact with you. Please go on our website and click on the I am new tab and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Our evening prayers continue this week online from 7 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. with the exception of Wednesdays when we have Bible study. The Zoom meeting details should be on the screen. On Tuesdays, we have in-person prayers for those who wish to come to church. We will also have our Zoom prayers as well. The start time is 7 p.m. On Wednesdays, we have our Deacon Deep Bible study in the chapel at 6.30 p.m. You can also watch via our YouTube and Facebook channel. Next week Sunday, we have our Minister's Prayer by 9 a.m., followed by our Sunday School starting at 9.30 a.m. in church and will be streamed via our YouTube and Facebook channel. Right after, we have our Worship Service at 10.30 a.m. in the chapel, as well as via our YouTube and Facebook channels. We encourage you to click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you can receive notifications whenever we go live. The Teens Church meets for physical services at Landmark Cinemas. The service time is 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. The Young Redeemers class is once again meeting right here in church until further notice. For children ages 8 to 12 who are watching from outside of the Lower Mainland, or outside of Canada and would like to be a part of our online children's church, please contact us at admin at rccgbc.org. The Men's Fellowship meets every third Sunday at 4 p.m. via the Zoom prayer line. Men of all ages are invited. The Women's Fellowship Ornaments of Grace meets every third Saturday from 7 a.m. right here in the church auditorium. Please be reminded that our members are not allowed to pack in the reserved stalls in the parking lot. If you do, your vehicle can be towed. Also, no vehicle should be parked in the center of the parking lot. The center lane is to be kept open as an emergency or fire lane at all times. A big thank you to everyone who has decided to partner with us in order to achieve our target. We are not quite there yet, but would love to say thank you to everyone who has taken the pledge form and has started giving. If you have not picked up a form yet, you can do so today. Just ask one of our ushers. And if you've already taken the form, please don't forget to return the completed form as soon as possible. We would like to inform everyone that donations for the building fund should be sent via e-transfers or Interact only. Please send your contribution via Interact to admin at rccgbc.org. Please put RCCG Grace Chapel Building Fund as the recipient and use building as the password. For persons outside of Canada, you can send your donations via PayPal or PushPay. Let us build together unto the Lord. Here are some upcoming events to watch out for. On December 18th, we have our annual Christmas Carol Concert from 4.30 p.m. prompt. Don't forget to invite a friend with you. On December 19th at 4 p.m., we have the Menavalo Health Seminar via the Zoom prayer line. Please invite a friend and remember that it's open to men of all ages. On December 25th, we have the Christmas Day service at 10.30 a.m. From December 27th to 31st, we have the end of year prayer and fasting. We will be meeting in church from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. and the theme is finishing well. And on December 31st, we have our crossover service from 9.30 p.m. right here in Grace Chapel. On January 2nd, we have our Taste of Nations Praise Thanksgiving. If you have a song from your nation that you would like the praise team to sing, please send it to the admin no later than December 15th. 
Habakkuk 2.3 tells us, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. As we're coming to the end of 2021, I just want to remind all of us to trust in the promises of God and the vision He set over our lives. Even if it feels like it has been delayed, trust in His word that it will come to pass. So, remember to tell someone about Jesus this week. Enjoy the rest of today's service. God bless you.